Hello everyone! Welcome to Nalin Leaf Vlog YouTube channel. At this moment, I'm going to present to you how does Hamilton's method in apportionment. Apportionment and the legal term of apportionment means distribution of in proper shares. It is the division of something among different people or groups. It is the problem of dividing up a fixed number of things amongst groups of a different sizes. So apportionment is the process of fairly dividing a fixed number of identical and invisible objects among a certain member of units, each of which is entitled to a certain proportion of the total. And Hamilton methods is the one of the earliest apportionment methods and it has a four steps to be followed. Number one is to find the standard divisor. A standard divisor is equal to the total population divided by total number to be apportionment. Number two step is to find the standard quota or called SQ is equal to population in the group divided by standard divisor or called SD. Step number three is to round the standard quota or SQ down to the nearest integer or lower quota. Number four steps is a portion additional slots one at a time to the category with the largest fractional part of the standard quotas. For us to understand more, let's go to the example. Here is the example. The mother of four wishes to distribute 20 identical pieces of candy based on how many pages of a book they read last week during their vacation. The table lists the total number of pages by each child. Using Hamilton method in fairly dividing the apportionment, find each quota, initial, and final. Round your answer into two decimal places. So let's go to for the example for us to understand more about the Hamilton's method. Step number one is to find the standard divisor or SD is equal to the total pages divided by the total apportionment of candy. So S step number one, SD is equal to total number of the pages is 1648 divided by 20. The total apportionment of the candy. So you can pause the video if you want to do it by yourself. And just tap play again if you want to continue or check your answer. So SD is equal to 82.4. So step number 2 is to find the standard quota. And the standard quota is equal to the number of the pages of each child divided by by the standard divisor so let's find out letter a marvin has 680 divided by 82.4 is equal to 8.25 next Again, you can pause the video and try to answer it by yourself and just try to continue again to check your answer. So, 450 divided by 82.4 is equal to 5.46. Letter C, 300 divided by 82.4 is equal to 3.64 letter D 
218 divided by 82.4 is equal to 2.65. So let's put our answer to the table. So Marvin has 8.25. Five point forty six, three point sixty four, and two point sixty five with a total of twenty. To check the answer if it's correct, the total quota will be the same to the total number of the apportionment. Next, step number three is to round the standard quota down to the nearest integer or lower quota. So, this one will be 8, 5, 3, 2 with a total of 18. So we, we are not yet in a fairly distribution of the candy. So it has two missing. So let's go to step number four. So a portion additional slots one at a time to the category with the largest fractional part of the standard quotas. So let's find out the largest fractional part is 1 it has 65 next is 0.64 so, so we are going to add one here add one here so the final is 8 5 4 3 with a total of 20 now to check the answer if the final total number is equal to the total number of apportionment and to the quota R. the same and then you get the correct solution. So that's all. Thank you and hope you learn from me.